What is up guys, it's your boy Royalistic, back with an insanely overkill gaming PC. Like, this thing is freaking insane. I just put it together just for fun, because like, I honestly didn't know what else to make. I'm thinking about making another $500 gaming PC build, so stay tuned for that. Now that the RX 470s and stuff are in stock and everything. And yeah, so, let's get right into this video. This thing is completely overkill, like, unless you're like really rich and just want to spend $5,000, I really don't recommend you buy this. But honestly, I don't think any of you guys that are watching this video right now are actually watching it like like you're going to buy it or something. Like I highly doubt you guys are going to be buying this. But let's get right into it. So for the processor, we got the Insane Overkill i7-6950X. It's a Broadwell E um, processor. It's got 20 threads, guys. So 10 cores, 20 threads. And it's just freaking awesome. It's 3.0 clock rate. It has a 3.0 operating frequency with a 3.5 gigahertz max turbo frequency and all of this and it only takes up 140 watts of uh, power. So yeah, it's, it's really good. And to you know, keep this thing cool, the next thing we have for the cooling is the Corsair Hydro Series H100i V2 Extreme Performance CPU Water Cooler. This thing, I mean, it's just in the name. It just sounds so cool, you know. The name just sounds so cool. Extreme, you know. But, yeah, this thing this thing can keep... You can overclock your 6950X, and uh, this thing will be able to keep it cool. And, yeah, $140. Wow. By the way, the processor is, like, $1,650. Sorry I didn't mention that. Anyways, next for the motherboard, we have the MSI X99A Gaming extended ATX Intel motherboard now this thing is six hundred dollars about six hundred dollars guys it's 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 just basically so overkill guys I don't even know what to say about it but uh, if there's a feature that you want in a motherboard this thing is guaranteed to have it yeah except for two M.2 slots for some reason it doesn't have two M.2 slots but yeah that's that's about it. It, it. That's about it for this. Anyways, next we had the memory. For the memory, I went with 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. Now, you guys, I love Vengeance LPX RAM, guys. This is what I have in my computer. I and I only have eight gigabytes, but this RAM is freaking awesome. You can overclock it easily, and it's just really, really good. 150 dollars, guys. 32 gigabytes, and yeah. Next for the storage. We have a VNAND SSD, the 950 Pro M.2 SSD from Samsung. It's 512 gigabytes, and it will cost you guys $315, but this thing is insane fast, guys. Like, you guys don't even know. This is probably the fastest consumer grade you could buy with a write speed of 1500 Mbps and a read speed of 2500 megabytes per second that is insane guys to complement that storage we have four terabytes of western digital black hard disk drive so you know it's four terabytes it's a wd black so it's pretty reliable more reliable than a wd blue and it's basically really really good and it's 250 dollars but you know when you got a five thousand dollar pc 250 dollars is nothing so i just put it in there you know so yeah next we have the case guys for the case i went with the $300 case. I mean, I was honestly having a hard time finding parts for a $5,000 gaming PC. So, honestly, it was just me trying to find the most overpriced stuff possible. So, this is a Cooler Master Cosmos 2. As you guys can see in the picture, it looks really cool. I mean, it's really good. It's just 300 bucks, so it's pretty expensive. But next we have the graphics cards. I went with two MSI GeForce GTX 1080s in this build. They're $720 a pop, so about $700 ish each. And yeah, it's just it's so good, guys. 4K gaming, 60 frames per second, awesomeness. You can do it with this thing. And then finally, we have the power supply. For the power supply, I went with an EVGA Supernova 1000 watt power supply. It's 80 plus platinum about two hundred dollars and yeah that's basically all there is to it. it it probably shouldn't break it down on you because you know it's reliable expensive and it's evga so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video that i think that wraps it up um let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future and comments are appreciated leave a like if you enjoyed this if you're new be sure to subscribe um yeah it'd be awesome if you subscribe 
Like honestly, I love it every single time I gain a subscriber. It makes my day. So yeah guys, uh, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.